So confused. You and Brooklyn aren't friends? I, I see the two of you together all the time. So you at the quarter man, the metro court, here at the hospital, usually with Bailey. And you work together, right? Yes, we do work together at Deception, which would make us work associates. And then I was thrown in the same Lamaze class as her. So I could see how to a newcomer it might look like Brooklyn and I are friends, but she is not my best friend. I, I don't even consider her a friend at all, okay, as a okay. matter of fact. It's fine, it's no skin off my nose. You want to share with me why not? Because she's a troublemaker. I mean, she tried to seduce Dante Falconeri when he was involved with my real best friend, Lulu. I, uh, Brooklyn set it up so that Lulu would walk in on them in a compromising situation. How compromising? Look, she really hurt my friend Lulu. Ugh. You probably don't know about her. She's in a coma in a treatment facility. Oh, sorry to hear that. So did Brooklyn succeed in breaking up Dante and Lulu? No, nothing could break up Dante and Lulu. Except maybe a, a bomb. It's true, when the floating rib was bombed, Dante and Lulu were broken up, but it's only because Dante left town. Okay. But if they were the perfect couple, why did Dante leave town without her? Because Dante had PTSD and he wasn't sure if he was capable of hurting someone. Oh. So he left town and he told Lulu to move on. That's when she fell in love with this really great teacher named Dustin. Oh. But when Dante came back in town, Lulu confided in me that she was still in love with Dante. Oh. And then the bomb went off at the floating rib and now Lulu's in a coma. I was never sure what I should do with that secret. All right. So circling back to Brooklyn, <laughs> she tried her best to break up Dante and Lulu, but she did not succeed, and you still have not forgiven her. Right. How long's it been? I don't know, like 10 or 11 years. It seems like an awfully long time to hold a grudge. <laughs> I mean, particularly because life seems to be throwing the two of you together a lot. And from an outsider's point of view, Brooklyn's always very generous with you, allowing you to spend time with Bailey because she knows you're missing your Louise. Your point being? Maybe it's time to reassess things. Okay, so, right before you so kindly asked me to accompany you to Jason and Carly's wedding, it seemed to me that you and Brooklyn were enjoying a really lovely moment. The quarter main ways die hard, a little backstabbing here, a little manipulation there. Nothing too serious. At least that's what we tell ourselves before things go sideways. But I'm really trying to do better. It's hard to change old patterns of behavior. Yeah. But I do appreciate you trying. Oh my god. Are Brooklyn and I friends? And not just casual friends, but really good friends? Have we really come that far?